to understand Gautam Adani, you must realize that he came from a trader family. His father was a trader, his brothers were traders of textiles. In those days, textiles were the backbone of the Indian economy. And uh, when he went to, when he wanted to finish schooling, got good marks, came to Bombay to finish his studies, couldn't keep attendance, so got a warning letter that your attendance is poor. And uh, the reason his attendance is poor is because he would sneak away from college and go and do diamond trading there with his cousins. And uh, when he got a warning letter from the college, he had a choice to give up, to reduce his exposure to diamonds and finish his education or to give up education and consider diamonds. He chose the latter. Wisely. Wisely because A, that there are three or four reasons. One, what his uncle said, what is the use of education? Look at your brother, he's finished his plastics engineering from uh, University of Philadelphia, from the USA, and he's come back into trading. Uh, in your family, nobody who's been educated has remained in a professional job you come back to being a trader. And that was the back of his mind. So he became a trader and accidentally, being in the diamond trade taught him one thing, how to think numbers quickly. A diamond trader buys in one currency, in one country, swaps it in another country, processes it in India with a six month cycle in a third country, again swaps it in another fourth country and then it reaches a, kind of a consumer who could be anywhere in the world. He's constantly thinking of timelines, hedging, currency fluctuations, interest, all the time. So when he starts trading and selling diamonds, he has to talk about, he has to consider the future value or the consignment that he has. So quick decision making. Quick decision making, quick number crunching. Mm. That helped him. And right from the time of the diamond trading, he loved big deals. He didn't like small deals. 